Welcome to This Week at Minnesota. The golf course was uh, built in 1929, old school course. Um, it's shorter, smaller greens, so it's, it's very fun to play. Emphasizes that it doesn't have to be a long golf course to be hard. Um, it's only 6,100 yards, 6, yards from the, from the tips, and, and it's, it is a very good test of golf. Um, a lot of people don't know that it's a public golf course. You don't have to be affiliated with the university to be out here to play. There's a student rate, uh, faculty has a rate, uh, teachers, everything. It's a, a little gym that we have in St. Paul here that a lot of people don't know about. We need to get that word out and get the public out here to get out here and play a little bit more. It should have been the state fish. The state record fish was caught the opening weekend and it was full of spawn and it was rushed to a, a scale immediately and it took us three hours or two hours to get to a legal scale and so my good friends in fisheries and wildlife had called me and told me that it had probably lost five ounces. I'm just delighted. I'm just delighted that there's going to be a good home. I was struggling with my wife. We have a downtown condo. She didn't see it in the middle of the living room and so it was creating this marital discord and uh, all of a sudden Susan came through with this brilliant idea. On June 14th, the university was awarded a $51 million Clinical and Translational Science Award, or the CTSA, by the National Institutes of Health. The award will maximize community involvement in university research and push new treatments forward faster, generating new benefits for patients. That's This Week at Minnesota. Connect with us on Twitter and let us know what you'd like to see next week on This Week.